Wow, I cannot wait to ride this thing. Please don't ride me, brother. Um, am I dying? No, I'm down here, brother. Please don't use me. I'm too beautiful to be used. I mean, you are a skateboard, and that's like your whole purpose. No, I've got a better idea. Put me on the wall. Put me on the wall for all to see how beautiful I am. A little conceited, aren't we? I beg, my brothers, my sisters, all torn to shreds. My uncle, he was cracked in half by someone trying to do a switch tray flip down 15 stairs. It's actually kind of dope. Please. Please, brother. Okay, fine. I'll put you on the wall. You happy? Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you for sparing my life, my king. Now let's go burn down a school. Hey, yo! Sometimes you have skateboarding graphics that are too beautiful to destroy, so instead of ruining the graphic, you decide you need to put this on the wall for all to see. Today, I'm gonna show you the way I've been hanging skateboards up on my walls for years. This technique is super easy, super cheap, and super rad, I guess. I don't know. It's it's pleasing to hear like things in threes, but I couldn't think of a third one. Now, of course, you could just go and buy a skateboard wall mount online, but the problem with that is you gotta wait a few days for it to get to you, and sometimes those mounts are a little bit more obvious than you may want them to be. This process that I'm gonna show you requires just basic supplies you could get from pretty much any store. Minus Spencer Gifts. You probably couldn't get the stuff from there. As you can tell, this technique makes the skateboard look super flesh with the wall, and it gives the appearance that the board is almost floating. Ooh, spooky. Before we get started though, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button down below, I'd really appreciate it. It really does help make the channel grow. And with all the introductions out of the way, let's get started. Literally, the only supplies you're gonna need to get that board up on the wall is a single nail, some fishing line, which you can get at pretty much like any hardware store for like less than seven bucks, and something to get the nail into the wall with. I typically like to use what us construction boys call a hammer. Holy moly! But you can also use maybe like a shoe, maybe like another skateboard, I don't know. By the way, I'm not like recommending to not use a hammer, but I'm just saying you probably could. And that's literally all you're gonna need. So now let's get that board up on the wall. First, let's find a spot on the wall that's just screaming for a skateboard to be there. Next, you're gonna be putting that stanky nail into that stanky wall. You really just need a rough idea of where you want the skateboard to hang because in a later step, you'll be able to adjust the actual height of the board. Once you got that nail on the wall, we're gonna need our fishing line and you're gonna wanna roughly cut about 12 inches, give or take a little, it doesn't have to be exact, we ain't building no rocket ship or anything. Next, we're gonna put the end of each fishing line through the top bolt holes on your skateboard and you'll be tying them together on the other side of the board, the side that's going to be facing the wall. This most likely will be the top of the board unless of course you're trying to show off some really cool grip tape you have or something, but I, I'm not, I don't really think that's the case. How tight the fishing line is against the board determines how high or low the skateboard is going to be against your wall. The tighter the fishing line is against the board, the higher it will hang, so if you want it lowered a little bit, all you gotta do is loosen the fishing line a bit. Honestly, this is probably the hardest part of the tutorial. You may have to adjust that fishing line a few times to get it to the exact height you're looking for. In fact, as you can probably tell, I wasn't using this board as my example for this video because I didn't want to have to readjust this fishing line six times again because it took me forever to get it right the first time. Once you got that height you're looking for, you're all done. You can just take a step back and look at the skateboard you're never going to ride. And that's it, pretty quick and simple. And like I said earlier in the video, I've been using this technique for years and I've never had any issues with this approach. Thanks for watching this video, and again, if you could hit that like button on your way out, I'd really appreciate it. I'm working on a brand new video series for this channel, and it's taking a little bit more time than I was planning, so that's why I put out this quicker, shorter video this week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can check out that new series as soon as it drops. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, have fun, good luck, and keep shredding the gnar.